Minister Eustace. As honourable members will also be aware, the EU withdrawal bill will bring across current EU legislation to provide continuity on the day we leave, and in the context of fisheries, uh, this will include the body of technical conservation regulations currently set by the EU. Many fishing communities now feel totally betrayed after the UK government revealed its intentions to use Theresa May's Great Repeal Bill to adopt the EU's common fisheries policy. During the 2016 EU referendum, fishermen were at the forefront of the fight to leave the EU. For many of the thousands still employed in the fishing industry, Brexit represented a last hope for survival after 40 years of the EU's disastrous common fisheries policy. But in the months since the referendum, there has been a slow realisation that Brexit does not mean exit from the CFP. I understand under the Great Repeal Bill that the common fisheries policy is still included in it. So if that goes through Parliament, we're still stuck with the common fisheries policy from the get-go. The fishing industry is virtually destroyed in this country. There's a huge potential for jobs, there's a huge potential for income to be had here. So let's make use of that now. On the UK's withdrawal from the EU, Britain can leave the common fisheries policy and reclaim its 200-mile exclusive economic zone. Adopting the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea would allow the UK total control over access, the setting of quota, fisheries management and fishing systems. Adopting the CFP through the back door would therefore be a disaster for fishing communities across the UK. We have no quota after rent quota, which is uh, ridiculous. And uh, the foreign vessels, they are allowed to catch, I think, it's 70 75% of our fish. We not only continue with being able to only fish 30% of the resource available in our seas, but also open ourselves up to the possibility of the EU taking legal action against us, citing continuity of rights. If we are to have a fishing industry post-Brexit, Keeping the terms of the CFP in place is not an option.